Hi everyone, Janet Gillen from the Seacliff Library. I hope everyone is well and being safe. Um, and I thought I would just talk to you a little bit about the book, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. So parents, if you're looking for a good book for your child to read, maybe for the first time or maybe to reread it, um, I highly recommend um, this book. It's a timeless classic. And this particular edition is put out by Sterling Publishing Company, and it's our Classic Starts series. And not only is there The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, but there's also The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, Peter Pan, Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. So these are very, very accessible. And you can find um, this particular one on our library webpage if you go to the Libby app and uh, just put in your library card. And you can download it as an ebook. So, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer is about our friend Tom, an orphan who lives with his Aunt Polly. And though Tom is a little bit mischievous and likes to have adventures, he is compassionate and very sympathetic throughout the book. And he does like to get in trouble from time to time with his good friend Huckleberry Finn. But he also has another friend named Becky. And Becky is a new girl in town, and Tom has a little bit of a crush on him. So I just thought I would read a little bit um, from the book just to kind of give you a little introduction to the story of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. So here we go. Tom, no answer. Tom, no answer. Tom Sawyer, you come on out here. Aunt Polly scrunched her eyes and carefully looked over the bedroom. She turned the house upside down, but there was still no sign of the adventurous boy. You just wait until I get a hold of you, Tom's aunt muttered as she poked under the bed with the broom without success. Seeing an open window, she stuck her head out, scanning the garden for a glimpse of her headstrong nephew. But all she saw there was the stack of wood he hadn't cut and the grass he hadn't mowed. And suddenly, hearing a small squeak, Behind her, she turned just in time to seize the small boy by the collar. Aha, she cried in triumph. I knew I should have checked that closet right off. Now what's that on your mouth? And Tom Sawyer stood before his aunt with his lips smeared a bright red. Nothing, ma'am. Nothing indeed. Why, that's the fresh raspberry jam I made for Mrs. Harper. And what's that? Take your hands out of those pockets. As Tom slowly took his hands out, a white powder trail began ramming, raining down onto the floor. Aunt Polly shoved her hands into the pockets of Tom's overalls. My goodness, she cried in disbelief. You must have a pound of sugar in there. She put her hands on her hips and looked down at her nephew. Tom Sawyer, that is absolutely the last straw. The very next day was Saturday, and a fine summer Saturday it was. The morning sky was bright and fresh, and the whole world brimmed with life. Tom, however, stood sadly out on the sidewalk with a bucket of whitewash and a long-handled brush. He looked at the fence in front of Aunt Polly's house. It was at least nine feet high and ran nearly half the block long, and Tom had to paint it all as punishment for the mischief he had caused the day before. So that's just the beginning of this wonderful, wonderful read, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. So I do hope your child reads it. It is a timeless classic, very entertaining. And I do hope um, you do find some of the other books from the Classic Start series just as good as The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. So until then, hope to see everyone soon at the library. And please, please be well. Bye, everybody.